computers are an essential part of life in the modern era. In today's world of science and technology, computers are used by almost every field and sector and by people belonging to all age groups. We use computers in our daily lives because it helps us to conduct activities such as studying, researching, gathering of information and completion of tasks. From school children to office goers, computers serve a wide range of people. When the world was attacked by the pandemic and things came to a grinding halt, it was through the use of computers and modern technology that we were able to continue our work virtually. Computer exhibition is a means through which young minds are able to showcase their academic knowledge through projects based on machine learning, coding and programming of languages. Hi, I'm Sanvi Keshavani from 6C and today I'll be presenting my project which is based on artificial intelligence. I have made this video using PowerPoint. First, I collected all the content. Then, I started animating it through PowerPoint using its large collection of animations and transitions. Picture this, a machine that can organize your cupboard just as you like it. Or, serve every member of the house a customized cup of coffee makes your day easier. Doesn't it? These are the products of artificial intelligence. But why use the term artificial intelligence? Well, these machines are artificially incorporated with human-like intelligence to perform tasks as we do. This intelligence is built using complex algorithms and mathematical functions. But AI may not be as obvious as in the previous examples. In fact, AI is used in smartphones, cars, social media feeds, video games, banking, surveillance and many other aspects of our daily life. The real question is, what does an AI do at its core? Here is a robot we built in a lab which is now dropped onto a field. In spite of a variation in lighting, landscape, and dimensions of the field, the AI robot must perform as expected. This ability to react appropriately to a new situation is called generalized learning. The robot is now at a crossroad, one that is paved and the other rocky. The robot must determine which path to take based on the circumstances. This portrays the robot's reasoning ability. After a short stroll, the robot encounters a stream that it cannot swim across. Using the plank provided as an input, the robot is able to cross this stream. So, our robot uses the given input and finds the solution for a problem. This is problem solving. These three capabilities make the robot artificially intelligent. In short, AI provides machines with the capability to adapt, reason and provide solutions. Since the human brain is still a mystery, it's no surprise that AI too has a lot of unventured domains. For now, AI is built to work with humans and make our tasks easier. However, by the maturation of technology, we can only wait and watch for the future of AI holds for us. Hello everyone, my name is Shwaya Pradab Singh and I study in class 7. My computer project is an HTML web page which is basically a site where laptops and tablets are sold. It also has a register and login logout option. The video explores this website and I hope you will enjoy it.
Hello to respected teachers and my dear friends. I am Chirag Chaudhary from class 7th. Today I am going to present my computer project and I have made a website for books. And its name is Books for Fun and Learning. I have added GIFs and codes over here to make the website dynamic, interesting and catchy. I have categorized the website into five categories. These are Jenny Mostleton, Wim Pickett, Dogman, Toria Books and GK related books. When I click on Jenny Mostleton, it takes me to linked page. Here I have given the intro of the Jenny Most book series and the author. Now when I click on Jenny Mostleton Journey Through Time, it takes me to another linked page. Here I have added the picture of the book. And the description of the book. This is Journey Mostleton Battle for Crystal Castle. These all pages are linked by a ref tag. Similarly, the other pages are also linked. Now, when I click on Wimpy Kid, it takes me to the intro of Wimpy Kid book series and its author. This is Wimpy Kid the Deep End. Wimpy Kid the Meltdown. In Dogman, when I click, it takes me to the intro of Dogman series and its author. Dogman Unleashed. Dogman and Cat Kid. These are story books. Here are Punch Tantra stories, Sudha Murthy books, moral stories, comic story books, and novels. Punch Tantra stories, Sudha Murthy books, mor moral stories. Comic story books and novels. These are GK related books in Space Encyclopedia, Animal Encyclopedia, Invention that Changed the World, World Monument, People Who Changed the World. There are total 31 link pages including the home page. Thanks for watching my website. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Oshik Pal from Standard 6B. Today I will demonstrate a program which I have developed in the C language. The name of the program is the Mini Calculator. This is the flow chart of the Mini Calculator. So to start the process, I have to press start the start and stop box. After that, I have to enter the operator which is plus, minus, multiplication and division. After that, I have to enter the first number and after that, I have to enter the second number. After the input is done, I have to enter the calculate process. The calculate process will check. If the operator is plus, it will go to the addition process. If the operator is incorrect, it will show the default option and end the process. So this is the flowchart of my mini calculator. Now I will demonstrate this on my laptop. As you can see, this is the program of my mini calculator. Now I will press Ctrl F9 to execute the program. This is the screen of the mini calculator. Now I will press an operator. Then I will press enter and enter the first number, 12. After that, I will enter the second number, 10. Then I will press enter. After that, I press Alt F5. As you can see, the result is shown here. 12 plus 10 is equal to 22. It can be applied with all the other operators. Now I will show you what happens if I press a default operator. Now I will press is equal to. After that, I will press enter and enter the numbers. As you can see, if I enter the default operator, it will show result, error, operator is not correct. So this is how my mini calculator works. Thank you. Hello all. I have made one Bluetooth control vehicle prototype for my project. For this, I have used one Arduino, an Arduino and HC05 Bluetooth module 
a few jumper cables, a motor driver, uh, two four wheels, um, two motors, and a nine volt battery. First, so first we have to connect the nine volt battery and the uh, and all the lights of the uh, board will start blinking. Then. So, here's the circuit schematic of the car. My name is Pranavi Joshi. I am from class 7th B. In my computer project, I have played songs on QBasic. If now I run the program and I enter my choice as 2, coding i have used the select key statement and the play statement in qbasic thank you hello everyone i'm srishti day of standard 7b i'm going to present my computer software based project which is on a qbasic platform i have made an ascending order program this is how it works for example i input 7 8, 5, 6, and 2. I'll get my output in the ascending order. I'll first get 2, then 5, then 6, then 7, and then 8. 2 is the smallest number here. The user can identify it by seeing at the dashed lines. At 2, the dash lines are the least and at 8, the dash lines are the most. Hence, we can identify which number is the smallest and which one is greatest. Thank you. My name is Ariman Singh and today I will be showing you my website on art created on HTML. HTML or Hypertext Markup Language is a great tool for coding for beginners. Just write the code on Notepad and run it. Learning HTML is very easy. My website is on art and the idea of creating it came from the enormous amount of art galleries online. So this is my website. This website deals with art. It's important. It's therapy, etc. So this is a welcome page. It has a link to the video on art therapy, the homepage, about me, and also links to my I've also linked an art gallery. To conclude with, HTML is a very good coding language and in my opinion, you should try it and see what marvels it makes for you. Thank you. My name is Vatsal Singh from Standard 7C. Today, I will show you a website created on HTML. It is used to help on learning computer system. The first page is home page where we can navigate from different pages like introduction where I have given some information on computer system, hardware and software. Login is to authorize access. However, this is in progress. And I've also added comments so that people can give me rating. Then a submit button will come and then when I click it, it will show thanks for writing comments. I've also added many pictures to tell about input devices, storage devices, processing devices, output devices and then software. I have experienced system software, utility software, and application software. In each page, there is a menu link in form of buttons. Thank you. Hello, 
My name is Anika Nair and I am from 8B. I have made a face mask identifier using machine learning. Machine learning is a subset of AI in which computers can learn by themselves and get smarter. I am using my own photographs with mask on and mask off to train the model. Around 50 photographs should be enough. And now for mask on. There, that's enough. Now we have to train the model. Okay, so now our model is trained. We can test the model through the preview tab. The, out the output given by the model is accurate, so this means our model is ready. Now, now we can export this trained model into any programming language we like. I am using PictoBlocks to build this project. I am exporting this as a PictoBlocks machine learning model. Importing the model to PictoBlocks we can create our application using this model. This is my script. As you can see, this is capturing the video. By using the train model, the script is identifying if the mask is on or off. If the mask is off, it is saying, please wear a mask. Otherwise, if the mask is on, it is saying, thank you. See this working. This is the end of my project. Thank you.